Welcome to Boise, Idaho. Set alongside the green belt and the relaxing Boise River, this afternoon fired up to bring you the iconic blue turf and the Boise State Broncos as they open another season. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Air Force Falcons, taking on a team from the SEC, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Broncos will kick it away to start us off. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Air Force's offense will get the first possession of the game. And here he is, guys. Anytime he takes the field, he is in complete control of this offense. And David, he gives defensive coordinators nightmares because of his ability. They're going to have a hard time slowing him down. No, he just doesn't have those weaknesses, those flaws. The whole playbook available, and he is a dude. The Falcons headed quickly to the line. Hand off to the single running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll go to the counter. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Got his man! That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. And the Falcons are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. So now on second and long, you start to think just don't fall out of field goal range. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And running backs who can add to the passing game, they can be so dangerous because once they get the catch, they're operating in much more open space than they would be on a handoff. And it really also tests the linebackers' coverage ability and those DBs' tackling ability. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it on the run. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants it all. And he's got it. Touchdown, Falcons. They're on the board first here in the season opener. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. Lining up to add another. And the PAT makes it 7-0. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Broncos offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. 
They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Throws to the wideout. Complete in the middle. Love to see these third down conversions on offense, and they're out to their own 39-yard line. He wants to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Snags it over the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. There's always that issue of conference pride, of keeping up, of proving your worth on this stage. And the ACC loves to get a chance at the SEC to do just that. And these kids grow up in the same area. And you don't think the ACC teams hear all the time? SEC, SEC, about the dominance, the draft picks, all the stuff that goes with it. It definitely adds some of that fire. It makes you want to beat them more. I love these big-time games. Yeah, they really do, Dave. And I think this is one of those games where if you're the ACC team and your players in that locker room, you've had this game circled all offseason. This game is your opportunity to prove, not just to your conference, not just to the SEC, but to everybody in college football, just how good you are as a team and how good your conference is. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. The Broncos have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On second down, wants to throw it. Finds a soft spot in the middle. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And the Broncos have it in scoring position on first and goal. Quarterback on the keeper. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Hands it off. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Broncos! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Getting set for the point after. Right down the boulevard. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. It's caught. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. On second down, he'll let it fly. Quickly out to the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They're going back to the ground. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Offense gets set for second down. Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats.
We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. He's back to throw on second down. Zings it complete to the right. He get it down to the 35 before he stopped. 10-yard pickup on the play, and it's a first down. Fast motion from the offense. They'll run it from the gun. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Hunt. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? Deep shot for the end zone. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. I tell you what, as a quarterback, you've got to have a short memory. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to be asked to do a lot, and he throws his first career interception. If I'm the coach on the sideline, listen, I'm bringing him over. This ain't going to be your last big fella. Like, you're going to make mistakes. It's okay. Put it behind you. Next play. Boise State ready to send out that offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven. Give to the fullback. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long backed up inside their 20. A little screen to the running back. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Broncos send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Fair catch called for and made. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive and what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He finds his man. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Falcons will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock him up close to their goal line. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. They'll give it to the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off the play fake. A strike downfield. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. And the Broncos are in the hurry up. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Throwing the comeback looks like such a simple throw, but the timing is so important. And as a quarterback, man, this is all about trusting your guy. You know exactly where he's going to sit it down. You anticipate it. You throw it. You know he's going to come back and make that play for you. Looking to throw. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And he'll step into the 
end zone. Touchdown, Broncos! Well, that's when the defense would like to have back. They would have wished the quarterback pitched that football, but instead, they took the wrong guy away and made it an easy decision for the QB. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Oh, you, oh, my. Oklahoma is putting on a show offensively today. They just simply can't be stopped. They're up by 18 over Tulsa. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give to the back. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Big third down coming from their own 31. Defense tries to get off the field. Off play action. They're trying to get to it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Third and one situation, and they go hard play action, expecting man coverage and a shot deep, but the quarterback had to hold on to the ball too long, and the defense, they just got to him. And the Falcons will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. The Bronco offense back out there, ready to give it another spin. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They finally make the stop, but the big run is ready to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Quickly to the tight end. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tackle a little something extra on their lead before the break. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Excellent job on the punt. Bounces out of bounds at the five, and they'll have 95 yards to go in front of them. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the pass is intercepted. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. And that's such a great job of seeing the play, seeing it unfold, breaking on the football, making the interception, and you will absolutely never forget getting that first career INT, that big play, that big moment. In the sudden change situation, even more difficult for this defense facing a first and goal. From the gun, looking for a man. He caught it! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. On the ground. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Boise State! I know we're only in game one, but in this half, you've got to be excited about what you've seen from this offense. Really nice rhythm. Quarterbacks got great command on the field with respect to what they're trying to do. And they've got some weapons. I can't wait to see what this offense does this year. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
on the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. Caught behind the line. It's Hunt. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The Falcons come to the line in the hurry up. On second down, looking to throw. He's got his man. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. It's complete to the left. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains, and they're set up at the 41. Trying to find his man on first down. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. In second and ten, he'll throw again. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. And he missed it. No good. Guys, he missed field goal, and nothing changes. It's still a 14-point game. Listen, he's a guy that makes 60 yarders in practice, so they give him that opportunity with this big leg. He misses it. The opponent didn't set up the return, so they're going to get the football back now. Pretty good field position. There's still a few ticks left on the clock. They've got a chance to steal some points here late in the half. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Going to the ground. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Boise for a fun first half than you? And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to our guys high above the Smurf turf. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Comes out throwing on first down. And that pass is intercepted. And he will step out of bounds, but what a play to get the ball back for his offense. And it's frustrating because you go into half and the coaches tell you what they want to accomplish. Listen, we've seen this the whole first half. This is what they're doing. Not a good job coming out. First drive, trying to get some momentum created. Turn it over to the other team. Give them a good, a good field position now, too. Not the ideal start. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Dialing up a second down pass play. Working the middle, it's complete. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. He's got it on the move. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Finds his big tight end. 
That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flat. On second down, he'll let it fly. It's complete! And he will score! Touchdown, Air Force! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. One back in the backfield, he gets to carry. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Back to the ground with the running back. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Working that left side now. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The play action fake. Getting some heat. And they got him. They'll get him down from the sack. Well, they tried to play fake, but it fooled absolutely nobody. And that's the problem with play action pass, Reese, is that it takes time to develop. The quarterback's got to fake the handoff, and receivers generally are running routes further downfield. So the offensive line has got to be able to hold up that extra second to give their QB an opportunity, and they weren't able to do it there. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. They're working that left side. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Broncos have this offense rolling. From the gun. Give on the inside. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll leave it with him. At the 35, he's loose. Running toward the tape. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Broncos. Man, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. He can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners. When he kicked it in here, he got the long touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Old Dominion rose to the occasion when it needed to, and they'll be celebrating a solid victory there in Balloon Stadium. Week by week, you can feel the momentum building within that program. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
slips through the line. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. He rifles one deep to the left. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he's brought down after a huge completion. From the red zone, looking for a man. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? This offense has a second down play. Here's the handoff. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. A third and long coming up here. They want to throw it. Got it set up on the outside. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll try to get it in with the run. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. If you don't tip the scales at three bills, stay on the sidelines. Big boys in the goal line D. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Broncos! Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good. And put one more on the lead. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty damn quick. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They're setting up the screen. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. Nothing but green ahead. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Falcons. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. These running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward he'll try to tack on one more and the extra point is good but they still trail 35 21 lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive 35 air force 
21. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Final play of the quarter coming. The give. And he was able to push forward for a solid gain as the clock strikes zero here in the third. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Leaves it with the back. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. It'll be third and short from their own 33. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Got his man down the middle. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. Fires downfield. It's complete. Gets him down at the 30 after a 15-yard pickup. They are threatening, and they have a first down. Fires to the tight end. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Sixth play of the drive coming up. On second down, he's looking downfield. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. They want to just keep throwing it. He's right on target. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Trying to slam in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Boise State. Well, I think this home environment was just too much for their opponents to handle. There's been unbelievable noise and energy. The crowd showed up today, but how about the playmaking on the field? These guys have got dudes all over the field, and this kind of win week one sends a statement and reverberates all across college football. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Going up top on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw, trying to get to it. Didn't have much of a choice there, but to get rid of it. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Hunt. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the big fella. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size. Still got him on the turf. On second down, wants to throw. Quickly complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Falcons are marching down the field. They'll throw it on first down. Feeling some heat. And it's incomplete. It was wild, high and wide on that one. Now second and ten. He's looking to throw. Misses receiver there. It's incomplete. Now facing a third and long. 
from the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And in the defensive line, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Takes a hit as he fires. And it's picked off for the third time today. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's a really good job by the game. It's understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Boise State ready to send out that offense. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Second and short now after that completion. Now the play fake. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? They'll try to get it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Touchdown, Broncos! And the stomping has commenced. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio, Kevin. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. UCLA looked like a serious force in what can only be described as a dominant win. This is a program with a case full of trophies, and they might just add some more hardware before this year is out. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. It's complete to the right. Oh, there might have been trouble if they had knocked him down so quickly. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Looking to throw for it. Gets it out fast. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. He's going to pass. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Here they come on second and 10 from the 47 after the incompletion. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Paul. They've done what they wanted in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. 
Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Running back searching for a hole. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll try the counter. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. A third down try for the offense. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. The old coaching cliche go 1-0 every week. And for the first week, they get it done. That great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work on throughout the season. But 1-0, that's where you want it to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like what you've just seen. First game of the year, there was tremendous effort on the field. Guys flying around, flying to the football, trying to make the plays necessary to win this game. He definitely made a few mistakes, but that's what practice is for. But if you're the coaching staff, I think you're very, very positive right now moving forward. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer.